first of all, there's historical issues. You remember Africa was colonized by different powers. So, so some of us are speaking English, some speak French, some speak Portuguese, and some speak Spanish. And uh, you can see that most of the trade is, uh, most of the countries tend to trade more with their former colonial uh, powers because they have a similar system, similar language, rather than that cross African African trade. But all these things can be kind of over, can be addressed. I mean, if if at all, as I said, we have reorganized, we have strong intergovernmental organizations, and even that gives them more power in terms of if they want to um, sell their produce or even natural resources like oil, like you know. But by now, we should have got. Uh, Nigeria has been selling oil and some other African countries like Angola have been selling oil. By now we should have got a strong Nigerian oil company, which is a global company. Not only refining the oil in Nigeria so that Nigerians can have the end product, they have the natural resources, but they, they deal with the end product, they produce it, so it will create another level of employment. But sadly now they just take the, the, the hard oil and then it is refined somewhere and brought back and sold to us. So uh, this expertise should have, we should not do, or countries like Angola which have oil and now I think Mauritania and some of this country, Ghana, uh, 20, 30 years ago they should have invested in having good Nigerian engineers who are able to solve the problem but also having strong Nigerian companies or Angolan companies who, who, are, who are worldwide players.